So now let's see how you can create drag and drop interactions inside of Adobe Captivate. So to create drag and drop interaction, first of all, you have to go to interaction right here and then choose drag and drop. But for that, you do need some objects. So I can create some interactive objects right over here. Let's say, for example, I'm just going to take this rectangle right over here. Just going to make it square right over here, which is going to be my first object. And this is going to be triangle. That is going to be my second object right over here. And then I'm going to go around here and then select this oval um, or circle as my third object. So I'm just going to go around and then uh, type in some text. So let's say, for example, I'm just going to bring in a text box right over here. I'm going to say square just like this. And I'm just going to create a copy over here. So I'm just going to press Control C and Control V to create a copy of this. This is going to be a triangle. So triangle right over here. And then I'm going to add an oval right over here. So let's say I want to create a task right over here. So uh, what I want is that I want the users to drag in the square to the square area, triangle to the triangle area, and oval to the oval area. Then it'll show a success message right over here. So I'm just going to random, randomly arrange this out right over here. So let's create the drag and drop interaction for this kind of a task right over here. So I'm just going to go around on to interaction right over here. And here you can see this drag and drop. So I'm just going to click on this and a new window will open up. Here it says specify the drag sources by clicking on objects on the slide and click next. So these are the drag sources. These three sources right over here are the drag sources. And th these are the ones I want to drag. So I'm going to select three of them and click next. Once I do that, now I have to specify the drop sources. So drop sources are these things uh, right over here, square, oval, and triangle right over here. And here you can see that there's submit as a button. So I'm just going to arrange this out right over here, as you can see as well. So three areas right over here, and then submit as a button. So let me just add in a bit of space as well. All right. So now once I'm happy, I'm going to press next. And now I need to link up. So this is triangle. So I need to drag it up or up over here, as you can see right over here. And here it says type in success messes. So over here, I'm going to drag in this oval right over here. And this one right over here is going to be square. So I'm just going to uh, click and drag this onto the square right over here. So this is the right answer. So I'm just going to press finish. And over here in type success messes, I can just double click right here. And I can say correct just like that over here. So there you go. There's the success message and there's the failure message beneath it. And I'm going to say incorrect right over here. So just like that, I got two of this message right over here, as you can see. So now I'm going to go to preview and preview this project. And let's see how everything functions just like that. So you can see if I were to press play right over here, it pauses out so I can drag in the uh, triangle right over here on the triangle section. I can drag in the oval onto oval, drag in the square onto square right over here, submit, and it says correct, as you can see right over here. So you can see that this is how it actually works like. So I'm just going to close this and uh, like replay this again. So I'm going to go to project right over here. And now this time let's select uh, incorrect answer. So I'm going to press play right over here. So I'm going to drag this onto triangle right over here, drag this onto square and drag this onto oval, submit and it says incorrect as you can see just like that. So you can do like a small test or like small uh, assessment to your learners like this, or you can just create some fun interactions by using this technique in your lessons. So that is how you can use the drag and drop interaction inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.